Today, we'll be solving round 947C, Chamo and Mokha's array. You are given an array of n integers on which you have to perform some operations. The operation states as you need to choose any subarray and then you need to replace all the elements of the subarray with its median. Now, you need to perform this operation some number of times such that all of the elements of the, sub of the array become equal and you want this element to be as maximum as possible and you need to print that element. Okay, so first of all, what idea comes in my mind is if you have two equal values, okay, and to the left and right you have infinitely many small values, like how many ever small values you want, you can make the entire array equal to this this large value. How? If I take this subarray, the median is four, so this becomes four. Now this subarray, this becomes four. Similarly, I can make all of the values equal to this value. So my goal is I need at least two equal values and that equal value should be as large as possible. Okay. So I have to perform my first operation such that I get two equal values. Now since I will have to uh, take a subarray and replace all its elements with its, it, with its median then I will definitely get two or more equal values and then I can choose those two values to make all the elements of the array equal. Now I need to make my first op operation such that those values are maximum. Now let's take an array like this. If you are taking uh, the median of five elements, what's your median here? Two. But what if you are taking the median of three elements? Here your median is six. Now as the length of your subarray increase, there is a higher chance that you will get some more smaller values which will decrease your median. So we want our first operation to be as small as possible. So we will choose an, two types of subarrays. Subarrays of length 3 and subarrays of length 2. Why 3 and 2? I will show you in a bit. Now we have some array like this. Okay. Now what I can do is if I take these two values the minimum is 1 and if you take two values its median will be the minimum value. Now for this subarray it is 2, for this subarray it is 3, for this subarray it is 4. So this way I get to know if I take subarrays of size 2 then these are my possible medians. So my answer to this would be 4 because it's the maximum out of all of my choices. Now this was for length 2. Now we need to explore length 3 as well. And this is why. Suppose we have cases like 5, 3, 4. Over here, this median is 3. Over here, median is 3. But if we perform one single operation on these three values, the median becomes 4. So that means if I have three values, then I can still take the minimum of the first and the last value. And that would give my median if I have three values unsorted like this. Any subarray you take bigger than three, there is no point because the maximum answer you will always get in subarray of size 2 or 3. Why I ex explained you previously. The bigger your subarray gets, more chances that you will get a smaller and smaller value. So better is you keep the size of your subarray small. So we are limiting ourselves to 2 and 3. Okay. So what's the plan? The plan is out of all of my elements, first of all, I take 2's and find the minimum of them. So I get 2 
2, 1, 1, 5. Now I take threes and take the minimum of the first and last. So it's 2, 1, 2, 1. Now our possible answers for this subarray are 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 5. Out of all of this, since I need the maximum value, I will choose 5. Okay? So basically, you have to check for all subarrays of length 2 and length 3 and choose the maximum answer from those values. I'll explain the code. Okay? It's a simple code. I took input for the array. This vector contains all possible answers and at the end I just print the maximum value from that vector. In this loop, in this loop I am taking all consecutive elements so I will get all sub arrays of length 2 and in this loop I am taking the first and last value of sub arrays of length 3. So by considering these two cases we will get all of the possible uh, ways to make two elements at least two elements equal to each other and then we choose the greatest among all of those possibilities after that we can use those two numbers to make all of the rest of the numbers equal to them and that's how this algorithm works hope you enjoyed the video thank you